What's up, everybody? I'm the Burner Sky Cloud, and welcome back to the Ponya the Complete Series. Last time was a real shocker for me. I, w I was not expecting Gold to die. Rufus really effed up big time last episode. The biggest effed up, effed up thing that he could ever do compared to everything else he's done. Oh God! Uh, I did end up playing a little bit a, a, a little bit ahead, so I, I kind of know what I need to do here. Uh, but I was mostly silent for the most part. Yeah, that. See. Huh. And then I gotta grab this thing. Uh. Right, right, right. So yeah, yeah. Just need my example. Uh, I'm I'm still curious to know about the three ah! Rufus look alike. Well, the two you got Rufus, Cletus, and Argus. They all look alike now. <laughs> And Rufus finally stopped being dumb and getting himself, himself smashed. Hmm. I mean, might as well, right, Rufus? Ah! So, like, Gold's dead, the Ascension Codes are lost. We're back on the Ponya, so how's this all gonna play out? Stupid light at the end of the tunnel. I'm gonna let you have it! Wait a sec! Light at the end of the tunnel. It's only an illuminated button. And this isn't hell either. It's some kind of factory, and a crappy one at that. Could this mean that I'm not dead after all? Can somebody explain what's going on? Yeah, I would like to know that myself. Protein. Yeah, who cares? Because at the current moment, I have no idea what's going on. No. This just got like crazy. The mystery actually deepens now with this game. Hey! You! Stop! Wait! Don't move! I demand some answers! No, I think not. Oh, rats. Back before... Uh... Yeah. Are you busy having a heartbreak moment? Is your heartbreak in Rufus? Oh, I can't believe it! He's bolted the door from the outside! But that's not gonna stop me. Oh. I'll, uh... Sack of beans. Oil bottle. Woo! Just click things again. Water. Wow, we're just taking everything. Oil mill. Huh. That doesn't make sense when it's empty. Let's see if I can't. If this is the kitchen, I must be in hell. If this is the kitchen. Genius. Oil's well that ends well. What am I supposed to do with this? It's empty. End of story. Nice. So I have a 
vial full of olive oil. If this is the kitchen, if this is the, if this is the, if this is the, yeah, if this is the, so what am I doing? I need to know what I'm doing. End it all, huh? All right, well, I gotta figure it out now. Time clock. Time to clock out yet? Why is there a time clock? What is this factory? Hello. Yeah. 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 Maybe oil? I wonder whether this is one of the missing ingredients. I wonder whether th I wonder whether this I wonder what What's this blue thing? To the residents. Nothing with here that I can possibly do. Let me take a drink ball bat. <laughs> Door, no. meet Rufus. Nothing can ever stop Rufus. If there's a will, he finds a way. Where that? But much in sight, dude. Go. Hey, hello. Quit playing games with me. Oh, I've got company. How nice. Nothing is nice here. But you know you're alive again. Is that fantastic? No, it's not. I should be dead. Calm yourself. How about a cup of peppermint tea? It's relaxing and refreshes your breath. There's nothing better when you've only just come back from the dead. I don't need no stinking peppermint. I want answers. <laughs> First off, who the crap are you? <laughs> My name is Hermes. I used to be the head of this clone facility. You've got to be in incredibly old. Technically speaking, I've only lived for two days. I clone myself anew on a regular basis. <laughs> Keeps me young, but my genes are old. The intervals keep getting shorter. Where am I? Welcome to my humble abode. You live here? Nice place, huh? This used to be the facility where the Organon was created. A clone factory, in oh. fact. Ugh. It looks more like a waste processing plant. Uh, actually, is that a clone that's what it is. You need plenty of organic material in order to clone people. <laughs> You're telling me that the Dark Exchequer consists of biological waste? I'd be a little less condescending if I were you, Prototype R. Proto what? Why didn't you let me die? You were dead, strictly speaking. I cloned your mortal remains. Yeah, but why? I deserve to be dead. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one should be dead on a beautiful day like this. This isn't a beautiful day. I screwed it all up. Whoa, got a bit of a guilt complex, have we? No matter what you've done, get over it. Life goes on. Yeah. You're, you're telling me, him to get over it? 
You call this life? This isn't life. This is a cheap copy of life. A counterfeit. An artificially created imitation. Oh, nothing here is artificial. All my clones are made from organically grown materials. Didn't you say of you what? found the ingredients in the garbage? Biological waste. Organic. 100% natural. Oh, except for the nucleic acid. That is synthesized from radioactive sludge. Oh, yeah? Prototype yourself. I didn't mean to offend you, Rufus. You... You... you know my name? <laughs> of course I do. I'm the one who gave it to you. Wh what are you saying? I admit it's not the most creative name I ever came up with. You're How many clones are there? You're a series of prototypes that predated the mass production of the Organon. Only three of them survived. Prototype <gasps> A, Prototype C, and you. Prototype R. Thank you so much. C, Argus and Cletus? And R, as in Rufus, exactly. Rufus stands for red haired. I thought I could tell you apart by the color of your hair. Yeah, but I never good managed to create on hair colors that lasted beyond puberty. Unfortunately, that wasn't the only flaw. All the prototypes had problems before I came up with the right composition. The clones were designed as dispensable workers, so I took away your respect for life. Unfortunately, that also meant that many of you were not afraid of death. There were various accidents. It's not true! Yes, it is. But... It can't be. No. <laughs> I'm not like Cletus or Argus. Of course not. Cletus originally had green hair and Argus blue. But I wasn't thinking of hair. Look, they're conniving backstabbers, while I'm just totally trustworthy. They're arrogant and conceited, but I'm uh, super modest. Sure. They're Evil assholes, and I'm. Wow, there's uh, a lot of men. Too lately. wonderful for. Just stop right there, Rufus. Rufus, you're not identical because you are much more than just the sum of your genes. All your experiences, all your memories, add up to form the person you are today. You mean we once were completely identical? Only I was capable of learning from my failures? Yes, that's it. Well, close enough, at least. In your case, the gene for learning from your failures wasn't rendered correctly, but the rest is true. So, wait. He, uh, he, he was rendered... He, he learned from his mistakes by just trying harder, right? Okay, I'm a clone, right? So why am I still wearing the same coat? Exactly. Seriously? Oh, not a clothes business again. I create life for crying out loud. You should think that everyone would be totally astounded by that fact. But no, everyone always asks about the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, excuse me. <sighs> okay, if I'm a clone, why do I remember everything? Oh, you're paying attention. Of course I'm paying attention. That wasn't really intended in your design, but oh well, the technology is quite simple. I can use a full body scanner like this one to create and save a copy of your entire neural network. I see. Even those cloning chambers over there, the newly formed neural pathways, are trimmed into the right shape by teeny tiny knives during the maturation process. The process resembles pruning a bonsai tree. The difference being, of course, that the brain is much more complex and it takes me a nanoseconds. Oh, Good job. Oh, uh, sorry. What, what, Good job what was creating that this guy. Intended in your design? <laughs> Never mind. Hey, you created him. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be getting upset. Wait. If I'm a clone, wouldn't I have to be very young now? A surprisingly good question. I see those containers over there. In them, I simulate the natural process of aging. So you can choose the age of your clones? Exactly. Then why do you look like shit? <laughs> uh, don't be so rude. I'm not like the Organons. I never claimed you were. It's true that your genes are almost identical. You have no respect for life. But you have one thing that they lack completely. Sex appeal. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and sex appeal, right? 
It was all for nothing. Deponi is lost, and so's gold. And it's all my fault. Why carry on with this rotten life? Because there is still hope. Life goes on. Life goes on. And how will you make sure of that? Are you going to use that contraption to, to clone all of Deponia? I'll show you what I think of your stupid machine. No, Rufus. No, Rufus. Don't do that. Stop me if you can. Hey, you're the one who created him. <gasps> reap. Oh, no! you, you reap what you sow, pal. Take that! Not the machine! Take that! Not the machine! Excuse me? <gasps> Cut it out! Wow, these two beams are really <sighs> weak. Stop it! No! There! Ha ha ha! Your turn! What have you done? You destroyed everything! This means it was all for nothing! You've got it at last! You were right about everything, except for one little matter. It is all my fault. Mind it was me wrong. who, way back when, believed that Deponia was no longer inhabitable, and I came up with the evacuation plan. I designed Elysium. And I created the Organon, and then, when I was done, I started to have second thoughts. I stayed behind on Deponia to look for a better solution. I had all the time in the world, and I messed it up. Dude, I have are run you out serious? Of time. I cannot make up for what I have done. I thought that I had deserved to live with my guilt, but even that concept turned out to be overly optimistic, because where there is life, there is hope. So. What I deserve is to die with my guilt. Go on then. Shh. What? Goal? Yes, that, but, but, goal? Okay, so Hermes came up with the evacuation plan. He, he, oh, so he created Elysium to go to the paradise. He, he pretty much created everybody, set everything in motion. Wow! Okay! She's still dead. What did I expect? But Hermes was gonna do something about it. Don't tell me he was gonna... I really need to talk to him. It's not over till it's over. Exactly, Rufus. I gotta talk to Hermes. Wait! Stop! It's too late, Rufus. You are right. There is no more hope. No! Oh, crap. What do I do now? Gather clone and ingredients. Oh, I did that. Okay. Alright, so I have the clone and ingredients. What is this pipe? Okay now, take it easy. A vampire platypus. I've never encountered one of those before. That's actually very surprising. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Let's see. 
oil bottle? <laughs> I should consider working as a dietitian. <laughs> I <laughs> I should consider All right, so I need something done with that. Wait a minute. Clone lab. I'm gonna take a look at the console. What is this mysterious six gauge? Hmm. If I read these gauges right, they indicate the fill level of the machine. This gauge is different. I wonder what it means. But as long as it's green, I'm sure it's just fine. Ah. Swillow Fizz. This used to be my favorite soda. I always liked how they made it glow in the dark. And it still glows when you pee. That's nice to know. Ah, McGreasy XXL. My favorite brand. The only fries that don't fall out of Bozo's nostrils. Ew. Ah, oh, it's just one obstacle after another. All right. Well, since I... gauge is different. I wonder what it means. But as long this symbol seems to stand for water. So that means the tank contains enough water for one clone. This must stand for minerals. So that means enough minerals for one clone. Oh, what if I pour some stuff in here? Nah, I should save the oil. There's not enough fat to reconstruct gold. Whoops. <laughs> Hope nobody tells her I said that. I don't know. Duh. Here goes nothing. Huh. The oil seems to count as fat. Lucky guess. <laughs> What's that popular saying? Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> I knew it. The protein gauge has risen. And so has the one for carbohydrates. Looks like they were roach eggs after all. I don't know. This seems a little off to me. Yeah, I knew something was wrong with that stuff. The gauge for minerals rose along with the water gauge. Ah, who cares? I killed two birds with one stone. Nah, I should say there's not enough fa- Whoops. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Mysterious sixth gauge. Huh. I'm 
honestly don't have anything left here to do. Hey, little one, are you hungry? Here you go. Be easy now. Vampire's kiss. <laughs> I. Alright, let me go check this out. Okay, I gotta get, get more clones. Where do I go to do that? <laughs> there are more effective ways of hacking something to pieces. Let me let me review everything here. Can't put it in the funnel. Can't put it there. Ooh, time card. What? Still too soon to clock off? Probably because the holes have closed up since the shift started. Huh. Someone's been doing some serious overtime. The shift started so long ago, the holes have closed up. <laughs> the cook must have clocked out decades ago. Huh. Salt doesn't come with a use by date, otherwise, this rust red color might make me think twice. Oh, I need to get down there somehow, right? One obstacle after another. Oh, too bad I can't reach it. Oh, why are the best things always out of reach? Oh, too bad I can't. Oh. Let's see, there's got to be a way I can do this. I have time cards, so there's got to be <laughs> something. The cook must have clocked out that. go punch time to punch uh, out can you punch this for me <laughs> thanks how does the time clock actually how, how does the time card oh how do time card holes close up? Congratulations! You set a new overtime record. To keep the memory of this grand moment forever fresh in your mind, 
you receive an amazing bonus, garlic. For garlic helps you remember, especially in old age. And judging by your overtime, you must be as ancient as the hills. Enjoy your well-deserved leisure time. Thank you. Finally, I can get over here. Not a chance. It's totally rusted shot. Oh, it's just one obstacle after another. Well, where there's a will. Oh, wait, where's my bat? Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go! It actually worked! This is incredible! Could it be? That I have just discovered a way to make use of olives? Quite possibly. Now I need some fire, grease, and the fries, and everything else to go with it. Natasha wrote. Now let's get cooking. Oh, ho, ho. this is going to be so yummy. <laughs> the essential building blocks of life itself. Ah, swillow fizz, an essential nutritional staple. There were months when I lived on nothing else. <laughs> you know what they say, you are what you eat. Salt, the spice of life. And the garlic. Get serious. I need the components of life, not a fancy salad. Oh! I know where I need to go now. If there's one thing... Any vampire hates. It's garlic. Hey, little one. Are you hungry? Actually, uh, never mind. Eat this. <laughs> Adorable. Can't stop us now. We're taking your babies. Oh God, I'm killing animals. No, Rivers is killing animals. I'm just the guy that controls it too, which makes me the animal killer. No! You, quick, delete this. You didn't hear anything, anybody. And here's some more protein. So just Good thing there isn't a regular case eggs. cholesterol. All right, let's go clone Hermes and get him to stop himself, not stop himself from killing himself. Off to kill myself, there's no hope. <laughs> oh, rats. Oh man, I want hey, to die too. What are you doing? Wait for me? Oh, damn it! <laughs> Alright, Hermes, we're talking. Why don't you just let me go? <laughs> now you know how it feels. Yes, but what else do you want? You said so yourself. All is lost. 
That's what I thought. But then I found gold. What were you planning? Can she be saved? Oh, you know the girl? She fell from the sky shortly after you. There was a spark of life left in her brain. The rest was pretty much smashed up, so I created a clone, which survived long enough for me to perform a complete scan. Here, your lady friend could be cloned with this. Even though I have no idea what good it would do, Deponia is lost. <laughs> Just leave that to me. Well, you're the one who started all this, pal, so yeah, it, it's technically your fault. So I, I guess in a way Rufus is the hero. Everything now makes so much sense. Thanks, Hermes, your pal. It fits like a french fry up a nose. Right. And in you go. I'm gonna save you, Gold. What's happening now? Something's going wrong. What are you doing? One guess. I'm saving Gold. But this won't work. There's no nucleic acid left in the machine. So what? It worked for you. Quick, abort the process. The pipes are overheating. The whole thing's about to blow. Is that you? She failed to mature properly. That's because of the nucleic acid. Where is she now? That pipe leads into the sewers under Portofisco. I'm so sorry, Rufus, but it looks like your girlfriend is lost forever now. No, she's alive. I can still save her. You know, I've still got some nucleic acid. Well, why did you say so? Theory, you could still use it to mature her. But what about Deponia? The last high boat could take off for Elysium at any moment. You cannot save gold and reach the Ascension Customs at the same time. And even if you could... The Upper Ascension Station houses the Organon's headquarters. You'll never make it in there by yourself. But I'm not just by myself. My Resistance friends are in Porta Fisco. I'll get them to distract the Organon, while Gol and I sneak onto the high boat. And who's going to let them know? Who will save gold? And who will prevent Argus from leaving on the high boat in the meantime? You can't do it all. There isn't enough time for that. There would have to be three of you. And oh, you God. Could. Hermes. Hmm. Are you sure you really want to go through with this? There isn't enough biomass left in the chamber for three clones. This way... At least I can serve one final purpose. <laughs> You're the ultimate cool guy, Hermes. Let's not get sentimental. Have you got the nucleic acid? Nucleic acid? Check. Very good. Remember, it won't be cloned as well. Only one of the three of you will have it when the process is finished. Don't worry, Hermes. I understood everything. You can rely on me. <sighs> I only hope your construction with the sandbags is going to work. If the lever isn't activated... It's gonna work all right. It has to. In that case, let's not lose any time. Three, two, two one... Here we go! Bird. Ow, I hurt myself. Thank goodness for the bird. Hey, it worked. Yep. What next? Oh, God. One Rufus was bad enough. Um, three Rufuses. Goodbye, Deponia. Imagine if Doc and Bozo saw this. Bozo would be like, What is my life? I quit. <laughs> Doc, would be, Doc would just be like, I think I've been hanging around Rufus too much. <laughs> I'm gonna go drink.
<laughs> okay, uh... One of you two needs to gather the rebels for a surprise attack. You do it, huh? Why me? <laughs> Jeez. I'll head to the Organon headquarters and delay the high boat's launch. I said it first. No, I did. I'll go down to the sewers and rescue Go. But that's my job. No, no it's, mine. it's mine. I'll rescue Go. I got the nucleic acid. No, I've got it. But no, Hermes gave it to me. me. Why don't we have a look? How? So, who's got the nucleic acid? Why don't you look to make sure? So, who why don't you look? <laughs> They'll be flabbergasted when I pull the nucleic acid from my coat. <laughs> So, who- Why don't you look? <laughs> um... One of those two halfwits has got the nucleic acid, but which one? Oh man, I wish I could look right through them somehow. Like, by means of a cool new interface element at the lower edge of the screen. Oh, nice. <laughs> They'll be flabbergasted when I... So, who... Why don't you... <laughs> They'll be... <laughs> <laughs> nope. So, who? Why don't? <laughs> nope. So, who? Why don't? <laughs> nope. One of those two half. Oh, which one? <laughs> They'll be flabbergasted. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be flabbergasted. How do I know which one has it? <laughs> They'll. <laughs> They'll be. Oh. <laughs> I knew it! I guess this means I'll get to save goal. Not so fast. Hey! Really? Hey! Ugh! Hey, stop that nonsense! Why won't that idiot let go? Help me, will ya? Who am I supposed to help? Hey, stop that nun. <laughs> it's the second mouse that gets the cheese. Hey! Ugh! Blah, blah, blah. So which room is which anymore? They're all rivers, actually. Yes, kind of saw that coming. Uh. <laughs>
Wow, Rufus the Clown, wow, well, what do you know now? That's mind-boggling news, but I'm sure you can cope. Just put on your slickers and hitch up your knickers, for once more there flickers a speckle of hope. Well, things to look black, you need someone to check. All the bars at the tunnels and and if by hap, it turns out to be a cloning lab, you can prep for a quantum step. Uh, three times the Rufus, three times the jab. We got three Rufuses. Oh god, am I gonna have to swap around with two Go? whole bunch of Is Rufuses? that you? Man, it's dark here. Gold, we have to be careful. Who knows what sort of dangerous beasts are lurking in the dark? Let's see what happens happened with the other Rufuses. <sighs> Do you have a problem, Bozo dear? No. Thank you, Mrs. Mook. Let the boy do his business in peace, woman! Oh, I thought he needed help! I'll manage. It's just... You're afraid! Aren't you, Sonny? Uh, yes. Of going party? No. Of the end of the world, you moron! No, no. It's just... Is Rivers uh, land in there? Uh, it doesn't matter. No, isn't he over there? Don't even think about it. Uh. <laughs> yeah. You who? You weren't expecting that, were you? Boy, you've really got a lot of. <laughs> hey. It wasn't exactly pleasant for me either. What an ass. And where did the last group end up at? Oh. Well, look at that! I landed right at the foot of the Upper Ascension Station, the site of the Organon Headquarters, and the birth of the last high boat to Elysium. I need to be careful from now on. Well, more careful than usual. This place is crawling with Organons. They're obviously withdrawing from the city. I wonder what they're planning. Maybe I can eavesdrop. Move! Hurry us up! There are still some crates that are bound for Elysium. No, not that one! It's supposed to go to the third intermediate level! Wow, okay, so now we got three times the Rufus. This is gonna be fun. So this is far from being over. Oh. Hmm, I'm probably gonna have to focus on one Rufus at a time. You know, that makes me question. Was the Rufus that we've been playing as this whole time just another clone? Or was he the original who decided to off himself to help save the Ponya? Wow. I guess in a way they're all the same. I mean, does it matter if they're clones or not? They're still Rufus. Three, four, two, three, four, move it up. Two, three, four. But, uh. Wow. There's still a lot more work to do before this is over. So, I'm gonna end it here for right now. This was. fun. Well. It was a prelude to. hopefully, what I hope to be fun. But in the meantime, thank everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and share. And don't forget to subscribe to see more in the future. I'll catch you later.